Good evening, Collective. Welcome back to the channel. Gigi here. Today, Collective, we're doing something different. We are going to be channeling uh, individual signs. We're starting out with fire. We're going to be starting out with Aries. So this message is for the Aries of my Collective. So uh, if you are an Aries by sun, you may also have Aries in your chart somewhere else. Take it how it resonates, guys. This is, I am going to be channeling specifically for Aries, okay? So Divine Holy Spirit, I ask that you come down, please, and help me through this reading for the collective. Please send down Archangel Gabriel to help me channel these messages, clear, concise, and precise messages for the collective. Archangel Michael, please come down and protect us all as we channel the energy for the collective, for the Aries of the collective. <clears throat> what we're going to do first is we're going to channel the energy surrounding our Aries. What are the signs for our Aries? What signs are we looking at for Aries today, Spirit? water so uh, we have cancer Pisces and Scorpio any other signs whoops I don't want to fly we have earth so uh, Taurus Capricorn and Virgo <clears throat> on the bottom we have Venus which rules Taurus and Libra okay so first, yes, we have tarot on the table. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. It's there because I've been seeing a lot of different tarot cards in my head during readings. I brought it out just to have just in case I need it for anything, okay? I'm, I don't think I'm going to use it. I haven't really decided if I'm ready to do that yet. Not after that last one. All right, first we're going to start off with love. I'm going to ask Spirit for three cards surrounding the love around our areas of the channel what is the channel the information the, bleh, my, i can't talk what is wrong with me today holy cow collective my my words are being jumbled stuttered like nobody wants me to talk like somebody does not want me doing this right now spirit please can i have some romance messages for our aries we have three, okay? Three messages. We have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Currently, you're in separation. You could either be in separation from your person, or you may need to take some separation from your person currently. That separation may lead to an engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Aries. You have children. You know, I know as a mom, having kids is extremely difficult, okay? And it can take a lot of time off, you know, off your lifespan. <laughs> and it can cause a lot of stress. And sometimes you need to separate from the situation, regain yourself, and that way you can come back to your situation and have the uh, happily ever after, you know, because being a parent is a stressful situation. It truly, truly is. But it's worth every moment. It truly is. But it's stressful. And it can definitely put a damper on a relationship, especially after this effing pandemic where kids couldn't go to school, couldn't go to daycare, couldn't do this, couldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's put a damper on all of our relationships, even with our kids and our spouses, our significant other, our dating life, you know, not being able to go out and do anything. So we understand. We all understand. Okay. The thing is, is you can't let it, you can't let it take over anymore. You know, the world's starting to open up. Things are going back to normal. You know, take a break for yourself, Aries. Okay. Take a break for yourself. Separate from whatever situations that's causing you stress. So that way you can get to the point where you're mentally able to be able to accept an engagement from the person that you're uh, either with, looking to be with, however, however it is for you. Okay. But make sure you take a break if you need one. What do we got here? Spirit. The energy is gaining momentum around whatever, whatever situation you're going through, Aries. The energy is gaining momentum. You could be stressed out to the point where you really need to take this, this 
the separation from your partner, from your children, whatever, before it's too late, before you end up walking out of a situation due to stress or whatever the case may be for the wrong reasons. The energy is gaining momentum. Please make sure it's gaining momentum in the right direction. Any other messages, Spirit? Any other messages for our Aries? One more message, please, Spirit. One more message, please, Spirit. Believe in the impossible. Anything is possible. Believe in it. Okay? Wherever it's going, if it's heading in the direction of this engagement here, believe in the impossible. Even if you feel like the relationship is, is tanking because you're stressed out or whatever the case may be, if you really want it, believe in it. Even if it seems like it's out of it's out of your reach, believe in it. You're gaining momentum in what feels like the right direction, guys. All right, Aries, please, on the bottom of the deck, what do you need to release? Any stress? Any unneeded stress? Whatever it is for you guys, okay? I want to see what's underneath. Adjustments are required. Especially if, you know, if you're not taking time for you. I feel like it... I feel like Aries that it's there's a lot that you're I don't ever say children hold things back in our lives ever because that's not the case however if you're putting too much into your children and not enough into yourself you may need to release the the urge to be taking care of everybody but yourself and separate from the situation for a little while get your head right get your you know give yourself time to relax Release what you need to release. Give yourself a chance your chance to sit down and, and have a moment to sit down and think about all the things that you want, even if the impossible ones are like right there in the beginning. Take the time to do what you need to do so that way you can have the impossible, that engagement possibly, whatever it may be mean for you guys, okay? I want to see what's going on here. I have the expansion for the Love and Confusion deck right here. I need to get these on different cards. What do we got to tell them from here, Spirit? What do we need to tell our Aries? What do we need to tell our Aries spirit? Messages for Aries, that's too many. I've seen these, so we'll keep those. Alright. Protect your energy, Aries. Are you bound to a karmic relationship, Aries? Is that what you need to release? Is getting away from this karmic ex the separation that you need to get into the relationship that you're supposed to be in so you can have that real that real engagement? Is it this karmic relationship making it hard for you to say no, or is it the children? Are you staying in this karmic relationship because of the children? You need to protect your energy. I can tell, Aries, it's stressing you out. It's stressing you out. You're taking your sweet ass time. Let's go already. Yeah, you're 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 sticking. You're you're keeping yourself bound to a relationship, Aries. I think you know that you shouldn't be in. I know, you know, if you have children, it can be extremely hard to walk away from something. You know, especially when they want mommy and daddy and they want to do all the things. They're miserable when they're not together with you. Like, we get it. But if you're in a karmic, toxic relationship, you need to protect your energy for both yourself and your children. You need to stop worrying about, you know, what people think and having this whole picture-perfect image of the house, the kids, the family, and all of that... When in, in reality, it, you are, you need to protect your energy so you don't drain yourself to the point where you are stuck to this and there's no getting out of it. Because you need to believe in the impossible. You're about to have an engagement and it, and it may very well be the engagement of a lifetime. Okay? But you need, what do you need to release? Honestly, this is how I feel about it. You need to release that bond, bound, bind to the karmic relationship for whatever's keeping you there that's making you unhappy. Okay, you can't take your sweet time about this because you may miss a very, very, very important opportunity. 
You're on the right path. Okay, the energy is ga gaining momentum in this situation, but you need to believe in the impossible and you need to release that karmic relationship. Aries, this doesn't mean to a relationship. This means to you, to yourself. Come correct. Come back to yourself correctly. Protect your energy. So that way you can have this amazing engagement. Is it because the karmic won't let you go? Is that the bind? Is, are they using the children... To, you know, are they holding the children over your head? <clears throat> Aries, you cannot let people manipulate you with the children. You can't. You got it. You got to release this energy. You got to release this energy before you you miss out on the opportunity of a lifetime. You got to release the energy find a way. If you're afraid that they're going to do something to you or the children, take the kids and go. If you're afraid that they're going to hurt themselves, have call somebody to help them. Have somebody intervene that might be a licensed therapist that can help them. Okay, you got to do something to get away from this situation. You got to do something to get away from this situation before not only will it destroy your insides emotionally and mentally, you're going it, to... The toxicity that's going to be surrounding your children is going to be toxic to their health and their well-being and the way that they grow up thinking that, you know, staying in toxic relationships are, is healthy. You don't want them to understand anything, you know, just toxic relationships. You want them to be in a healthy, loving relationship. So if this person is manipulating you, using the kids over your head, keeping you bound to that relationship for whatever it may be, you need to find a way out. Maybe, like I said, contact a therapist, a, a trusted spiritual advisor to come in and intervene, you know, and do what you got to do. Or if, you, if it's to the point where you're scared for your life and the safety of your chi children, child, children, whatever the case may be, maybe it's time that you pick up, take out as much money as you can and dip. And then the only way that they can find, change your number, change your everything, and the only way that they can contact you is through the courts. If the person's, on, I can't seem to shuffle this, what? Jeez. Alright, let's see what we got here. What is the reason, Spirit, that this person is not going to let our Aries go? What is it? Are they binding them together? Are they keeping them bound because of the children? What is the reason she won't let our Aries go? Why is this karmic relationship binding our Aries to them? Proud popper. Pop. Prop popper. Popper. Papa. Oh my goodness. And a gamer. Description words of maybe you Aries or your person. Take it how it resonates. Flip it. Switch it. Reverse it. However you got to do. Any more spirit? Why won't this karmic relationship let our Aries go? Too many spirit, please. Why won't Why won't the karmic relationship let our Aries go? They want to go all the way with you. Your girl has another man in y'all's bed when you're out of town working. She only likes you for your money. She likes booze and drugs too, but not you as a person. Well, there you go. They want to keep you locked down. They want to go all the way with you. Maybe have this engagement with you and trap you because in a marriage with the kids to keep you because of the money. She's all she's already got you know, somebody else in y'all's bed when you're out of town. She only likes you for your booze and your booze, your booze, your money, your drugs, whatever you got. She doesn't like you as a person. She's only manipulating you and keeping you around for that. You need to get up out of this. She makes it hard to say no, or he, take it how it resonates, guys, makes it hard to say no, probably because she's, you know, put that thing down, flipped it and reversed it and, and did all the crazy nonsense up on you, but they're a childish person, they don't really love you, they just want what you got, and if y'all don't have children, they may be trying to trap you with children, she's not going to let you go, this is a karmic, this is a karmic sea witch, the urchin, however you t however it fits for you guys, okay? Please say yes to being mine and only mine because they want you for the drugs and the money and the alcohol on the West Coast. 
We got a city girl or a city guy. We got a cowboy. If you were an honest man, things could have been different between us. This could also go as if you were an honest woman, things could have been bit different between us. So it could go either way for you guys, okay? What else we got for our Aries? You're being warned, guys. Aries, do not let this person entrap you. They only want you for your money. We also got somebody on the East Coast that is your spouse or wants to be your spouse or, you know, is trying to sneak in and be your spouse. Take it how it resonates for you, but they only want you for your money. They could be using sex magic, black magic, whatever. Like I said, there's children on, out on the board twice now, so there's children involved. And how many more times do you want to put me through this? Well, Aries, this is what you're asking this person. And the thing is, is until either you wake up from this black magic and get your kids and get your ass up out of there, that's how many more times she's going to do it to you or he's going to do it to you. Take it how it resonates, okay? This person is extremely childish and probably very vindictive, probably very, 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 very spiteful. They're very, very childish. They want what they want, and they're going to get it, okay? They got other people in y'all's bed while you're traveling. They just, they're partying all the time. They're taking your money. They're using your hard-earned money while you're out working and doing all the things that you're doing, and they got another man. No. You need to heed this warning, Aries. Your person is if if this is your story get you have to release this you have to release this that way you can go forward and go on you can have it up. final messages can we start our fairy tale already please and uh exit stage left okay aries if you're asking yourself, uh, can we start our fairy tale already, please, you're obviously not in the relationship for you, okay? And you need to you need to take your kids and exit stage left from this person that does not obviously like you and just wants you for money so that they can go buy booze and drugs, party, and go screw everything else that's around them that'll have them while you're away working to support their habits. Okay, any last messages, spirit? Too many. You had so many chances already, I'm over it. Bye. And please let me hold you. Well, Aries, it's more of, you're telling this person they've had too many chances. You, you, you obviously started recognizing it. We can tell, you know? You're asking yourself, where's my fairy tale? You want to be held, and this person's had too many chances. They want the money, they, they're boozing, and they're drinking, and they're cheating, and doing all this, and every time you get a half-ass, backwards, freaking not a very unsincere apology, this person needs to exit your life stage left, Aries. You really, you really need to uh, stand your ground and get them out of your life before you start going to the drugs and the alcohol yourself. And if you have kids involved, there should be no drugs and alcohol involved in any of this. So you guys need to uh, get yourselves uh, up out of this situation. Okay, we're going to close it off real quick. Final messages from our ancestors and the angels to kind of give you some guidance on what you can do to kind of stand your ground, Aries, to find your power, reclaim your power, call it back and move forward. Get yourselves out of the out of this situation, please. Everybody deserves to be loved. Everybody deserves to have their happily ever after. They shouldn't be living in a situation where they're being used and manipulated for money. All right, spirit, last message from me. The ancestors and angels, please, for our Aries. Shapeshifter, transform and unveil, unveil your gifts. Aries, if this whole situation has you stagnant, uncreative, in a funk, you got to get out of it. You got to let it go. You got to get out of it. You got to you gotta transform your mindset. You got to get an optimistic point of view. And you got to let this situation drive you creatively. That's too, that's, all right, I'll take them. A broken arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. Okay, peace is is exactly when you know the Most High is with you, guiding you. When you feel at peace, and you you'll know the most the Most High is standing there saying, "Yes, you're on the right direction." 
This is why you're at peace. You have nothing to learn. You've learned your lessons that have gotten you to this point. You've got to get there, though. Direction Guardian. Choose your path. It's obviously not this because you're looking for your fairy tale, and it's obviously not where you're at. You need to exit stage left and choose your path and choose it wisely. Possibly move in a new direction. Possibly move your ass and your kids. Like I said, if this person is toxic, if this person is dangerous, follow, file a report with the police, change your number, pull everything out of the bank, file things that you need to file with the courts, and get your ass to someplace safe. Move in a new direction for yourself and your family. Mountains. Maybe move in the direction of the mountains. If you're a city, I saw a city girl or city person out there. Maybe if you're in the city, maybe it's time for you to go and find the damn mountains. Choose your path. Choose your path to go and find yourself in nature. Travel there. The lady. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. Find self-growth. Grow within yourself. Don't worry about trying to grow in a relationship. Worry about yourself and your kids if you got them. Stand your ground. Stand your ground and move in a new direction. It's all laid out here for you, Aries. You can do it. You have to choose your path, and you have to choose the path that's going to be beneficial to you and your family. And I don't mean this crazy person that's trying to keep you trapped. I'm talking about the children that you have. I'm talking about the possible, you know, it, however it is for you. You need to to grow in those situations and worry about you. Worry about your kids. Get away from this toxic behavior. If you are partying with this person, get off the booze, get off the drugs, get off whatever it is that you're doing, and move forward. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, winter. Could this all be happening this winter? Take care of your needs. The needs to, to find that happily ever after. Possibly start a business, or get a raise, or just move into a new apartment, or whatever the case may be. Take care of your needs, collective Aries. Sorry, excuse me, not collective, but Aries. Take care of your needs. That that mountain card, that mountain card is really speaking to me, city people. If you're all up in this situation, maybe it's time that you guys go find nature. Go go see uh, all the beautiful things, all the animals, but just steer clear of the wolves, okay? But that that's that's really it, you guys. If you guys are going through this, I'm sorry. I understand the want to stay in a relationship for the benefit of the children, but in all reality, the sense of security of having both parents doesn't really top, you know, having happy parents. So you can have two parents in the same household, but if they're not happy, that all that energy is going to radiate off of your children. So make sure you're doing what's right for you, Aries. Make sure you're doing what's right for your family. I'm going to close it out here. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Angels. Thank you, Collective. Aries, excuse me, I'm so used to speaking to the collective. Um, thank you so much, Aries, for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If this did resonate for you, please hit the like button and leave a comment down below to let me know where you fit into this story. Thank you so much. Remember, Gigi loves you. And until next time, guys, light, love, and blessings. Take care.